Welcome back, this is the Amajack. We got CSGO Office, Gunslinger, Gunslinger, Commando, Suicidal. I'm glad I don't use voice recognition. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to do Gunslinger. I want to do Gunslinger. I don't want to be playing Commando anymore, okay? I want, I want to be fast. Oh yeah, we just we just decimated those guys back there. Let's see, let's see, let's see. It's hard to come up with topics to talk about. Cause I got another six episodes to record after this one. They can't walk up there apparently. Pretty sure you can in CS:GO. Can I get through here? No. I'm not, I don't think you can do that in CSGO either. But I'm pretty sure I can walk across here in CSGO anyway. Pretty sure I can do that. Pretty sure I have done that. I want to, I want to make another... I want to play other shooters. Because I want to play some, uh, some, some FPS stuff. I got, I got some friends there into like TF2. I can't get into TF2. I like uh, the more, you know, I, I, to me, gunplay, is, like the gun feel, the feel of the guns is a really, really important part to, um, to how good a game is, in my opinion. This is not going to go well. Right, like the, the feel of the guns, the gun, the way the guns sound and the, the recoil and, and all of that, like that's such a huge part in um, in me enjoying in uh, a shooter. It's it it makes up such an enormous part of me enjoying it. That uh, something like TF2, which uses just not real guns, and therefore the gun feel is not particularly great because that's not what it's about. Um, is just not very, uh, not very enjoyable for me. So, not sure we'll do that, but I do want to get into some other shooters, because I like shooters. I just wish there was, like, a KF2, like, Team Deathmatch kind of thing. Not, not Team Deathmatch. You know, I, uh, my favorite game mode in the, like, PvP shooters, not going that way. My favorite game mode is always the, uh, Like you have, uh, you have two teams of, you know, six people or something, and uh, you just keep killing each other over and over and over again, and then whichever team has the most kills by the end of it wins. That's 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 my my PvP shooter preference, personally. I forget what it's called, but I don't think it's Team Deathmatch. I think Team Deathmatch is um, you got one life instead of having respawns. You just you don't respawn. Um, I believe, and I don't. I don't really like that so much. Because the thing is, you make a mistake, right? You make you make one mistake in team deathmatch, and you're done. That's 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 the end of your run. And they go by quicker, but you just spend more time in the menus and less time actually playing the game. I find. So, I just I don't like it so much. Not, not my not come out, not my kind of jam but it's uh it's definitely popular I mean you look at CSGO they've got like a huge competitive thing I, don't know, I feel like there's a lot of drama going on in like every branch of uh, competitive gaming right now it's just a lot of drama going on on the internet in general right now just in the world really I mean, it's really not a good time to be a human being Probably a great time to be a dog unless there's been some drama around dog abuse as well in which case, I sound like a horrible person. I'm just saying, it's probably not the best time to be something that can understand all of these. We're dead. Are we dead? Yes, we're dead. Are we dead? Yes, we're dead. <laughs> ow. Ow, 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 ow. Ow, oh, that one hurt. That one hurt a lot. Slammed my knee into the keyboard tray again I do that too much but this time this time I had pants on and as such no blood 
Haha. -ha. My chair is so squeaky. Like, I'm not even moving it much right now. Like, this isn't even me, like, rocking back and forth. This is just me, like, moving my arm. Like, it's bad. It's really squeaky. I need a new chair. There's so many new things that I need, though. I need, like, uh, I, want a new I want a new keyboard. That's, like, 250 $300 or something for the one that I want. I want, uh... I want a new monitor, because I've only got the two right now, and I'm definitely feeling like a third would be helpful. Um, but that's that's going to be like $500, $600 or something for like a good one. Because I want, I want a like 1440p, like 140, 144 hertz kind of thing, you know? Maybe even 120, but like I want, I want a high refresh rate, decent resolution monitor. Because I feel like that's kind of the sweet spot right now is... Like 1440p, 140 for, uh, for, uh, 1440p, 120 hertz is probably the the sweet spot for uh, for gaming right now. Like that's kind of the the 1080p, 60 fps of the past, right? Where it's not what everybody has, but it's kind of the you get that, and you can you can probably like push that kind of thing if you just turn down your your settings a little bit and still have a pretty usable experience that's at a decent frame rate and decent resolution and everything just kind of feels and looks good kind of thing you know that's the, that's the sweet spot there I feel anyway I never personally experienced anything above 60 FPS besides on my uh, my phone which I mean I don't know does it count probably but I don't I don't game on it so like does it really does it really not really uh, so I want to get a new monitor. I want to get a new microphone, of course. I want to get that kind of whole thing upgraded, but that's that's another few hundred dollars to get um, the uh, the microphone updated, and then uh, to have like a you need oh my to have like a DAC and and all the stuff that you need to make it uh, work properly. You know, that's uh, it's not it's not cheap. There, there are parts to it to making it work, to making it happen. That uh, that I need to get as well. And I don't, I don't currently have them, but uh, I want to get that done. That's that's one of the, it's on the list of things to do. Cannot destroy that. Come on. So I want to get, I want to get that as well. I want to get a new chair. A new chair would be really nice, because honestly, my chair is uh, comfortable, but just annoying. It's also, it's starting to go. It is definitely starting to go at this point because um, it kind of like leans forward a little bit. <laughs> I feel like it's gonna fall apart one day, but uh, it kind of leans forward a little bit, which is uh, unpleasant. Uh, let's see, what else do we have to get? I gotta get, I gotta get a new car as well. Although I'm probably gonna go for a motorcycle rather than a car. Really depends on on how well the YouTube thing goes. Because if I have a job and I have to drive to my job in the in the winter time, I probably don't want to get a motorcycle. But if I don't have you know a job that I have to drive to anyway, then uh, I'll probably get a motorcycle because I don't have to drive anywhere. So I can just uh, take my motorcycle when I need to go in it. And then uh, in the winter time, if it's snowing and I don't want to take the bike, I can uh, just walk to uh, to like the grocery store, cab, or or something. You know. So, that's probably what I'm going to do. It really depends what on earth just happened there. I have no idea, but I feel like... I feel like something just happened there, right? I'm, I swear something happened there. I'm not just insane. So I want to get a bike. I want to get um, I gotta get a new hard drive. I want to make a whole NAS. Honestly, because I've got uh, I got my Plex server which I use for me and then uh, some people in the family. But I'd like to be able to give it to friends as well. Cause I know uh, I know some friends who just 
want to watch some things, but just can never find the way to watch it, at least not in like a good enough quality. And then I'm like, oh, you just torrent it. I'm like, well, I don't really know how to do that, and I don't really want to. I'm like, that's fair. But then I can't really give them my, uh, like, just access to my Plex server. Like, for the most part, even right now, if a friend wants to watch something, then I'm down if they want to watch it on my Plex server. I'll download it for them and they can stream it. It's fine. I have unlimited data. It's fine. I do not mind. My computer can handle it. But, um... I can't just, like, give it out to them and be like, yeah, yeah, you can just go here, give it what series you want, it'll download it, you're good to go, right? I can't I can't just do that. Because uh, I do have to kind of monitor it and uh, make sure it's not going too insane, and then my computer also gets turned off at times, and then the, the like, right now the torrent client isn't working. So if I have, uh, if I have sonar set up to, uh, to download a specific um, free series that uh, is legally allowed to be torrented, then um, it's just not going to because it doesn't have the, the torrent clients to um, to download it with. So. Um, so I want to I work on that. I want to get like a, a whole specific computer thing set up for that so that uh, it can be done a little bit better. I mean, for me as well, it would be nicer to have a dedicated box for it. Um, so that's going to be probably like another thousand dollars. I want to get, um, I want to get laser working on that. I have had one pass of laser hair removal on my, uh, on my facial hair, which has made a, it's made a huge difference. Honestly, that and the hormones have just really crushed it from, uh, from a, you know, goodbye facial hair kind of thing. Um, but it's still there. It's still, unfortunately, it's still got some facial hair, which has got to get gone. Uh, getting rid of it is probably going to be like another $2,000. Then I don't have to shave anymore. I mean, the other thing is, is with laser hair removal is, yeah, you don't have to shave anymore. But also, like, it's kind of twofold in that, um, you know, you don't have to shave anymore. But even right now, when I shave, it doesn't look as good as if there were just no hair, because I still have a bit of that shadow, right? And that's not, that's not good. Um, and then like, you know, you do have to shave every day, even multiple times on some days. Like if I shave in the morning and then I'm going out with, uh, with a guy later on at night and I want to look half decent, then uh, I got to shave again, right? Which is, uh, is kind of, kind of sucks. Not that I really go out with uh, with the guy right now, anyway, so not so much problem. <laughs> but you know, okay, I did get a headshot on that scrape, but I guess he didn't mind. Okay, this is a uh, super duper not good. Uh, let's see. So we got uh, we got the laser hair removal. I gotta get like a lot of clothes as well. Cause that's hello. My goodness. That's one of the things that people don't think about when um, when you're talking about like a transition is uh, well, there's there's a lot of hidden costs to transitioning that people don't really think about. Cause it's like one, how how much does your entire wardrobe worth, right? Like, all of your clothes, shoes, accessories, like, how much is all of that worth? Probably, probably quite a, a hefty chunk of, quite a hefty chunk of money, right? Like, all of the clothes that you've accumulated over, over the past, you know, however long. I mean, you gotta, you gotta, also gotta remember that I'm an adult, right? I'm sure that uh, a lot of people are, you know, not, not really, uh, children, but, um... If nothing else, you haven't really been adults for very long, but, you know, as somebody who's 25 years old, I, well, at least before transition, um, you know, I still owned clothes that I wore, that I bought, you know, years ago, like six, seven years ago, because it still fits, it was still clean, it was still fine, right? Nothing wrong with it. I'm not going to just throw it out because it's old, like, it's, it's still fine, so you have, like, clothes from just years and 
you know, like a decade of, uh, of accumulating the, the, the clothes and the shoes and the accessories, watches and phones and cases and, and all these different things that are masculine, right? And then all of a sudden you're like, haha, I'm gonna phase through some pipes. Uh, all of a sudden you're like, haha, I'm not masculine, right? And it's like, okay, time to go and get rid of all of those accessories and all of the clothes and shoes and and everything that you had accumulated over these these years and uh, just get rid of it all because it's it's of no use to you at all anymore and then you have to go and rebuy it all but you don't have 10 years to go and rebuy it all right because I have to have clothes today um, so it's just it's an it's an expensive thing, and that's one of the costs that a lot of people don't really think about. Because there's there's easily over a thousand dollars that you can spend on on clothes, shoes, you know, jackets, um, all that stuff that just you you wouldn't think about. It's not it's not a cost that's so much uh, thought about when you transition. Because people will think and they'll they'll be like, oh yeah, you have to buy like makeup. You have to buy hair ties. You have to buy you know, the, the typical feminine products, um, like new shampoo. People might think about, or you know, something something of that nature, right? And uh, they don't they don't think about just the basics, like I need new shoes. Right? I need new shoes for going hiking. I need new shoes for going for a walk just around town. I need new shoes for going to work. I need new shoes for going to the beach I need new shoes for you know all this stuff because you got even, even if you're you know typical manly man oh I don't have many pairs of shoes you probably got like five or six different pairs of shoes Just being realistic you got sandals you got you got lots of different pairs of shoes that that uh, you wear on occasion right and uh, you, you need you need all those you need all new because uh, yeah, you know, it's not good for you anymore, and uh, it's just one of those costs that um, that people don't really think about too much. So, anyway, that's another thing that I got to spend money on. There's a lot. I forget why I'm talking about it, but uh, there's a lot to spend money on. I want to, uh, I want to get it all done. That's gonna do it for today, though. Thank you for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it, subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.